Cerebral palsy is the most common childhood physical disability in the world, affecting two in every 1,000 live births. It can affect movement, muscle tone and coordination in a range of ways. The condition has no known cure, but as Holly Edwards Smith explains, clinical trials using stem cells from umbilical cords could drastically improve patient outcomes. If you ask Brody Munts how he got so strong, he has one answer. Blood. His little sister's umbilical cord blood is giving him a new lease on life. Brody met all his milestones as he was growing up, but his parents noticed some irregularities in his movement. He would be using his um, sort of right hand more to move forward and the left arm would just literally come around, but there was never any even strength. After numerous doctor's visits and multiple dismissals, the Munts family were told Brody had a stroke while in the womb. And so when the MRI came back and it showed us where the stroke, you know, occurred, um, and because of the movement, the, the limited movements he had on his left side, um, that's when his neurologist said um, he had cerebral palsy. So In Australia, there are more than 34,000 people with cerebral palsy, which can affect both speech and movement. The palsy side is a, a problem with locomotor um, um, movement, in other words, movement of limbs. And so the brain has been damaged in some way, and those tracks which go to the limbs, to the legs and the arms, are uh, affected. On a spur-of-the-moment trip to the doctors, while pregnant with Brody's sister Zoe, Brenda saw a brochure that would change their family's life. When we were at the GP after our clinic, um, we saw a brochure there, sibling um, cord blood um, trial for cerebral palsy, and hadn't even heard about it before, and we just sat there and um, looking at it. Brody was one of 12 children with established cerebral palsy who participated in the Australian FIRST trial. So this is taking umbilical cord blood from the baby's umbilical cord at the time of birth. It's directly after the baby has been delivered um, and uh, before uh, removal of the placenta and the umbilical cord. And months later, the collected cells were given to Brody. It's a blood transfusion. So Brody sat down, he had a needle put into his arm and it was a bag of the stem cells and he was given it the same way you would receive a blood transfusion. Within weeks, there were drastic improvements. Mom. Now in its second phase, the trial covers a larger group of participants to gauge their efficacy and further evaluate safety. Nearly half of children who develop cerebral palsy are born prematurely. To help combat this statistic, researchers at Monash University are working on a world first trial looking at very preterm babies born before 28 weeks to see if stem cells from their own umbilical cord can help reduce the severity of cerebral palsy before it's diagnosed. We believe that the cells may be more efficacious at this stage if we can get in early, as it were, and treat the brain when it's still malleable, it's still plastic, it's still very young cells there which are responsive, uh, we've shown in our preclinical trials, uh, to these uh, stimulatory cells found in the umbilical cord. The cells help reduce inflammation and swelling in the brain, which is one of the leading causes of symptoms associated with cerebral palsy. Which, when all is said and done, is an inflammatory disease. The brain becomes inflamed for various reasons that cause cerebral palsy, uh, and these stem cells help dampen that inflammation. For Brody, that meant he can do everything his parents once feared he wouldn't. And it's not only cerebral palsy sufferers that could benefit from umbilical cord blood. There's over 80 clinical trials ongoing at the moment, but these are early clinical trials uh, looking for safety and feasibility of undertaking these, uh, of the use of cord blood in these various diseases. Trials the Munts family say are worth waiting for. Holly Edward-Smith, Sky News.